Shalom everyone. So today I wanted to give you a quick tour of our new homeschool work binder setup. Now here I have on each binder the grades of my children. I got these binders from Staples. These binders I have been using for years now and I absolutely love them. I use them for just about everything in our homeschool. We are an eclectic homeschooling family, which means we kind of switch back from unschooling to a, a more formal schooling. You know, we, we kind of switch back and forth depending on the time of year and um, how our schedule runs each uh, season. So what I would like to show you is quickly how we have things set up here about the grades I have mentioned in a previous video that we don't go by grades really anymore it's more of we have primary school secondary school and tertiary school so and each in each block we do things differently you know we combine the work uh, of the multiple grades within that block and we work mainly on mastery more so than assigning a grade. So anyway, this is the setup of the binder. Now inside we have the calendar for the homeschooling year starting in August, although we are year-round homeschoolers, so as soon as that June calendar finishes, we go right ahead and into the calendar for the following months, and we just keep going. Over here, I had printed this out. These are household, this is a household rules chart from Confessions of a Homeschooler. I had purchased her homeschool planner, and this came as part of it this is a behavioral and discipline chart so they will know that there are rules in place and for them to follow this folder here i had gotten these folders from target and in here this is to store any lists or anything that we go over this is for them to store it in here over here i have reading logs and these are reading logs that I just uh, created and printed out. Each child has their own personal set of reading logs. Then we have the fluency checklist for reading. This is what it looks like. I printed this out at on, from lakeshorelearning.com and they have multiple resources. This was also from lakeshorelearning.com the reading response log so here starts the subjects the main the core subjects and I have been color coding each subject now for many years ever since my older kids were in elementary school they are now all graduate graduated from high school and are in college so here we have the storage and then we have the handouts here of what we went over. Over here, blue is math. And this is the storage for math. I had picked up these folders from Target. And for math, we use graft paper. I just think it's easier. I will probably be getting a bigger uh, lined graph paper just so that it might uh, look better, be easier for them. This section, the red section, is for language arts. And this is basically, I keep this here, although this is from years ago now, they've had this in their binders for a long time now however it's just a little reminder for them to uh, start each sentence with a capital and to end it with a period you know so we are working on building sentence structure so 
for orange we have social studies and history and this is what it looks like here we just have the plain paper for writing taking notes etc and i use this type of paper just to help them work on improving their handwriting yellow is for geography and like i said i go back and forth on my work on their on what they're doing so certain things may seem a little bit more juvenile for them a little bit more rudimentary others would be a little bit more advanced but just we do things mainly for mastery so this here I had gotten from Grace Academy and over here we have arts and elective so any type of art or elective or not uh, you know whatever art projects that I really like because eventually these things will be transferred into their main files because I do keep a file for of their schoolwork each and every single year although my state does not require it I do anyway um, because you just never know and um, that's about it we do work out of here and I am not big on making copies of uh, or, or ripping out excuse me ripping out sheets out of uh, workbooks all the time and just giving them that as work that is not what I like to do I like to, I tend to switch things up a bit and give them different options maybe we'll play a board game maybe uh, one thing that we go th over in one subject will kind of spill over into other subjects so that we can get the full a learning experience and Joshua's is basically the same this is basically the same there's nothing new nothing different um, and uh, that's about it so I thought I would share with you uh, my new binder setup this year my daughter wanted to be yellow for homeschooling as opposed to pink which she was all of this time so this year she got to be yellow and Joshua decided to stick with blue so that's all we have for today thank you for watching and stay tuned for more